Are calls to Moscow emergency services free? Yes, they are. What is the phone number? Dial 103 to get to Moscow Ambulance, both landline or mobile. When do I use the common emergency number 112? Dial 112 if you run out of money on your mobile account, or your SIM card is blocked, or there is no SIM card in a gadget. Emergency operators speak both Russian and English. Moscow Ambulance is always there to help you. However, for the service to remain rapid and available anytime, it is important to understand when you should call us and when you can cope by yourself. The most common reason to call the ambulance is high fever, 39 to 40 degrees centigrade. Viruses, flu and colds lead to such a body defense reaction. That can be treated and resolved by yourself in a couple of days. Just check your travel and health insurance policy. You can easily use simple and well-known methods of home medicine too. But if you're running a temperature higher than that, and for a long period too, that might be a good reason for calling the ambulance. In case of an acute distress, sudden illness, sudden deterioration in a patient with chronic disease or bad injury, do not waste time and dial 103. In other cases, please check your travel or health insurance policy and act accordingly. If the injury is not really a life-threatening matter, check your insurance policy and act accordingly. If your children need medical help, dial 103 and a specialized pediatric team will respond. Should I tell the operator? To send you the ambulance team with the right specialist, medicines and equipment, the operator needs certain information from you. Normally, your call gets through to the operator within seconds. However, when the call load is extremely heavy, you might hear the answering machine. Hello, you have reached the Moscow Ambulance Service Control Room. We cannot take a call at the moment. Hold on, please. We'll get to you as soon as we can. Just wait for the operator to answer and be ready to provide the operator with the following information. Tell him what has happened. Give the most detailed answers to the operator's questions. Tell him your phone number. Tell him the address where the patient is. Provide for some landmarks if the patient is in the street. And provide for the street address, entrance number, floor number, coded lock number if the patient is at home. Provide for the patient's personal data like the age or date of birth. Name and surname if known. Tell him your name and surname. Accurate and full answers to these questions will help the ambulance team get to the patient as quickly as possible. If possible, ask someone to signal the right location to the approaching ambulance van. The operator will double-check the address and the phone number. Then he will tell you which team exactly is to arrive. How can a patient and his relatives help the ambulance team? Before the team arrives, you can help by doing the following. If you are calling from the office or from home, ask someone around to meet the team and signal them the right location. Lock away all family pets. Inform the operator of all the details the team might need to get inside the estate or the house, like the coded log number or the dog phone number. Both general and specialized teams like pediatric, psychiatric, cardiac, and so on. Your full and detailed description of what has happened will make it a lot easier for the operator to decide which specialist you really need. If it's a road accident, you should specify the approximate number of injured, how bad is their condition, and if there are children among them. All the ambulance vans are equipped with the blue flashing lights and sirens which help them to move faster in the heavy traffic. How can a patient and his relatives help the ambulance team? Before the team arrives, you can help by doing the following. If you are calling from the office or from home, ask someone around to meet the team and signal them the right location. Lock away all family pets. Inform the operator of all the details the team might need to get inside the estate or the house, like the coded log number or the dog phone number.